Hey, it's Luke. If you're trying to find an easy way to add some interesting drum patterns into your tracks, I just love this trick. So what you do is you record an audio track, just anything. Get my headphones here. And uh, you'll want to turn on your metronome and record any sort of drum beat. It doesn't have to sound good. It doesn't have to be exactly on beat. Here, I'll just get rid of this one here. Actually, we might leave this one on. And we'll do a little top loop. So it, as you notice, it wasn't on beat. That doesn't even matter. So uh, what you'll do is you will cl right click here on the audio track that you just recorded. And you go down to convert drums to new MIDI track. Now, the only thing is if you're using light or intro, you won't have these these settings but if as long as you're using standard or uh the suite version of ableton live you'll have you'll have this so you just click on convert drums and it's done it'll actually create the uh it'll create the midi for the drums actually here you can see this is what we just recorded here and it's got the velocity that it got from the voice and it also create just created a basic drum rack just to give you an idea of uh, what you could use it with and then you can go in go in here and change anything or you can put your own drum rack onto it doesn't matter or any drum instrument or whatever so you can tell it sounds horrible so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the clip itself and you'll if you have an Ableton push just hit quantize and it's done but if you have this you just select all of the notes uh, command a or Control A if you're on Windows, and uh, you go down here to quantize, or you can just do Command U or um, or Control U. So it'll it'll quantize everything, put everything. You can actually fix the settings in the, in the same spot. You can uh, change the the quantize settings to um, the. You can do the percentage so it sounds a little bit more natural. You can you can play around with these if you need to, but a lot of the time, just the basic one will will work, and see what we have here it's just sounding very boring so what you can do is you go into grooves here and you can go to choose any of these I've got a couple of these actually I might just use one of these and you can just drop the groove on to the MIDI track or you can go into the settings here and choose the grooves that you have so if you have one you can just drop it here you can drop it here and then this one's not sounding that great, is it? Oops, that's not what we want. <laughs> so we'll drop this one on here and see. No, we're not. This this isn't it. So we'll record another one. So I'll mute this and we'll record another one. And we'll do the same thing. Convert drums to new MIDI track. Again, it's sounding horrible. So we're gonna get, so we're gonna just quantize this. Command U or Control U again if you're. That's sounding not bad if you take out the original beat. So what you'll notice is it'll, it'll throw a kick in here. So what I usually do is just take that out completely. If I want a top loop, if I'm using, a lot of the time I'll use this for the top loop and uh, I'll just have my my kick and snare somewhere else and actually the, the main uh, hi-hat. But that's not too bad. And then what you can do, once you've got something you sort of like, you can go and play around with, uh, obviously the snare is a little bit loud. So you can adjust the the volume of the snare here. Actually, you can probably take it out completely and see that's got a really really nice it's got a nice little ride to it, and you can change. I might have to save this one actually. You can change the, the groove on it. 
You're not noticing a huge difference between them. This one obviously is a bigger difference. So when you're bringing this beat back in, you can really tell where it could go, where you could take it. I don't like these as much. We'll go, let's go to the more generic ones. So you've got that groove going. It's, you know, you can, you can actually uh, throw in a, just a, a regular hi-hat and then sidechain it. If you don't know how to do that, check my sidechain video. I don't know, more here, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, so yeah, that's how you can get the, the stuff in there. And you can, as you can tell here, we'll go back into it. There's so much velocity. If you're drawing these notes in, you're not going to do the velocity on each note. You're not going to get that that same same thing. You've got so you've got that, and then you've got the groove on it that's adding a little bit more velocity or a little bit more movement. And uh, we can see here if we just hit that, we can tell what the groove is really adding to it. Um, if we want to, we're just printing it but I usually like leaving it like this if I want to make some changes down the road so there you go you can you can make some easy uh, top loops and get some re really really interesting patterns that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise if you're playing around with it um, it's it could be a really really good way so I hope that can help you out and I'll see you in the next video